y'all. So I decided to get ready again today. Um, I think I'm gonna try to consistently do this every day. Um, I probably won't film every day because I'll run out of ideas. But um, I wanted to try out these lashes. Actually, when I was putting on my shenanigans on my face today, I didn't really have a game plan or anything. I saw these lashes that I've never used before that I wanted to try out. And since I have a little bit more flexibility about the length of time of getting ready, um, I was able to put on these lashes. Um, I'm not the best at putting on lashes with like the adhesive or glue. I kind of like straight away from that since now I have the magnetic lashes. So I wanted to test out my seals again. Um, I tried doing it on camera. It didn't really work out that well. You guys will see it later on. But yeah, this is what I did today for this look. Hope you enjoy it. First thing first, what I did was wash my face with cold water and then I went in with the Nature Republic Vital Origin Mild Toner. After toner, I used the um, St. Ives Glowing Watermelon um, Lotion, which was given to me by Influencer. Um, I really, really like the scent of this. Like, I can't stop smelling my face when I first apply it and it's a really nice formula where it gives moisture without making your skin feel like heavy. Um, and after that, um, I did go in with my Fenty foundation just for like the under eyes, just to brighten up a little bit. And then uh, for my brows, I went in with the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, and I think that's in brunette, which is a little bit lighter than what I would like on my brows. I bought it at a time when I had brown hair still, and now it's all grown out in black. So it's not the right shade for me, but I use that as an outline and I've been filling in my brows with the Revlon pencil, which I don't really like. Um, I just don't like this formula at all, but I'm trying to use it up. And then after that, just to clear it out a little bit, um, I went in with my Sephora Clear Brow Gel just to um, make my original hair look a little bit um, stronger um, and then also just to take out any excess product. Afterwards, I'm just going to use my reusable Q-tip to just clear off the edges. And then I am going to go into my eyes and I went in with this gold color called Sunset. And honestly, I really, really like this palette. Look how big this mirror is like and you can take this to go anywhere um, it's a fairly large palette you do get a lot of shades in here eight shades in here and they're all pretty like neutral tone you can obviously go lighter or darker depending on what you're looking for that day and such so that is the color that I went in for with my whole base and then I just took a like a flat edge brush and I went in with siren just to create like um, a line <laughs> close to my um, my eyelashes. Um, like I said, I wanted to do something like softer, so that's a pretty nice like dark brown. And then afterwards, I wanted to try out these lashes. I don't even know what company this is. I've never heard of them before, but it's Cara eyelashes. I don't even know where I got these from, to be honest. Um, yeah, I just. I don't, I actually don't, I don't know where I got this from. I, it, I have a lot of stuff in my collection where it kind of just like, it's just kind of there and I'm like, hello. <laughs> but yeah, I really like these lashes because it's really long, but it's sparse. So it doesn't look too full and like, doesn't like drag down. Like there's some lashes that I have where I feel like there's an overcast in my eye. And I think anyone who wears eyelashes can kind of attest like my ABGs out there. I know y'all be wearing like very caterpillar lashes, but I'm not that type of Asian. So I like these like sparse lashes. They still like elongate and they still make my eyes look brighter, but it doesn't make it look too intense. The band is also very flexible. The only issue is it like doesn't keep a curve so when I put it on it's very straight and I find it hard to like recurve it and I actually realized that like one of the lashes are a little bit like more lifted than the other side so I need to configure all of that but I think that's more of my application process rather than the lashes themselves. 
but I personally really really like these lashes um, and then afterwards I went in with um, I did this off camera but I went in with L'Oreal Paris infallible paints I couldn't stop smelling my lips but it smells so good it smells like candy it's like it's like like a Jolly Rancher almost. It's like a, it's a mix between like a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss because it has a little bit of like stickiness to it but it kind of um, functions as like a liquid lip but it's not like matte. This is in 326 Sultry. Um, so that is pretty much all I did for today's makeup. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in another video. Bye.